Welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Basement. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at an SNES power jack, or aka a power supply, or AC adapter that does not work. Why don't you work? Why don't you work? Ah! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of the spanner bit. That's right, you'll need an SB8 spanner bit to enable you to get into the AC adapter. And you can find these online. We will, of course, post that link in the bio. You'll start by unscrewing your AC adapter using this fancy bit. This will enable you to get to where you want to get to, which is the motherboard. All right, so utilizing a multimeter, we just checked for continuity. Didn't really seem to have much. So the next thing we're gonna do, and this is the dangerous part, disclaimer, we are not responsible. If you do try this, please don't hurt yourself. But right here, we're checking for voltage at the transformer, and we do have it. So for whatever reason, that voltage is not making its way down to the end of the plug. Next thing we're gonna do here is cut off the cable uh, we're gonna cut it right above this this the wire strainer because we want that wire strainer and of course that means we're gonna have to rip that that bad boy off of there so use some WD-40 a couple, couple pairs of pliers here and try to pull it off if you can't pull it off you can drill through the cable into the strainer and get that out of there because you definitely want that strainer to go back in the adapter the next step here is we're gonna remove that re final piece of wire from the old cable that's plugged into the uh, positive and negative terminals on the board. So get your solder wick, get your soldering gun, and get that thing out of there because we no longer need it. We're going to be putting in a brand new cable with a brand new plug that we'll show you in the next frame here. All right, with a clean board now, we can get the new cable and plug ready. So here's what the new cable looks like. White is hot, black is common. And then the plug there, both of these are available from Console 5. We will put that link in the bio. Okay, next step, twist up the end of that cable because you're going to be running that through the strainer, which again, that's why we saved the strainer so that it can sit back into the AC adapter nicely. All right, now our board is nice and clean, and just to show you, the board is labeled for the positive and negative leads here. So you'll take the positive end of th that new cable, put it through the positive, the negative end through the negative, and the next step, of course, is soldering this thing to the board. So reminder, don't hurt yourself. Also a reminder, the whole reason we're doing this is because somewhere in that old cable it got damaged probably by the strainer not really sure but anyway we're replacing the cable we're replacing the plug if you're good enough to locate the damage piece of that cable you could still use your old cable but we're gonna use a new cable and a new plug anyway just because we like new things new things Ladies and gentlemen, we have continuity. Oh, and we have voltage. You can see the voltage is now moved from the transformer down to where the cable is. This is good. We want to, the voltage to go all the way out to that damn plug. Okay, it looks like we're good here. Again, be careful if you do plug this in and test it. Bad things can happen. Luckily, nothing bad happened here. And we're going to put this thing back together, place the strainer 
where the indentation goes of that strainer. And again, that's going to sit there nicely, protect that wire and make it nice and secure. And then we'll put this whole thing back together again and continue testing. All right, the moment of truth has arrived. Actually, we plugged this in, hooked everything up, and it didn't turn on. We realized that the plug was not inserted correctly into that new cable because that plug has polarity, and you need to make sure the longer leg of that plug is actually into the positive terminal. So please make sure to do that when you get these new cables and plugs. If you do, you might just get lucky and get some power, baby. Please like and subscribe if you already haven't. And we'll see you next time at the 8-Bit Basement.